What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I'm excited about the new website. I just relaunched it, AntonDaniels.com. You should really check it out. It's really cool. Throughout the process of building and launching that site and everything that was going on in my life at that time, it really caused me to take a step back and appreciate the people that's surrounding me. I just wanna give credit where credit is due. I really appreciate my wife. I appreciate everything she does and brings to the table. And here's five reasons why being married is awesome. Number one, or I guess I should have started with number five. Life is better with a co-pilot. Everything is a lot better when you have somebody to come home to and you can share in your accomplishments or when things go wrong, you can be comforted. You know, your mother is not always available. Chances are your mother is probably married. My mother is married, so she has somebody else that she needs to tend to. But it is, you know, when you're traveling, when you go on places, it's not always fun to do things by yourself. I'm the guy that's more than happy to go to the show by myself or go out to dinner and have a meal by myself. But I do appreciate being able to have a co-pilot, being able to share and the memories and the things that you do and being able to express yourself to somebody and get feedback. I think that everything is magnified. The laughs are magnified. The cries are magnified. Life is just more enjoyable when you have somebody to share it with 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And that kind of segues into my next point, which is number two or number four, depending on which way you're counting from. Two minds are better than one. I think I'm a pretty smart guy. I come up with some pretty good ideas. However, I can't take all the credit for it because there's a lot of things and a lot of ideas that I bounce off of my wife that turn into something really great. I definitely get her opinion and her insight as to what she thinks needs to be changed or what she thinks needs to be implemented. My wife is really smart. She's probably a lot smarter than me. I get a lot of the credit for the things that I do. She makes me look a lot smarter than I really am. I understand that I accomplish more when I have her on my side or when I don't just do things according to what I feel is the best without running them by her. Which brings me to point number three, and it's number three no matter which way you're counting from. We're stronger as a unit. When I know that there's somebody backing me and have the utmost confidence in whatever it is that I'm doing, it empowers me as I go forward. I think that that translates into everything. You know, for some people, two incomes are better than one. You live a better lifestyle. Studies show that kids turn up to be better off when they're raised in two family households. And it's just easier to function when you have a team. You know, when it's two people and it's one person doing one thing and everybody understands their role and their position and what this thing is that you're building together, it makes it a lot easier because it's almost like, you know, I've had these conversations with myself where sometimes I've said, man, I wish it was two of me. But there are two of me. She does the things that I can't get done. She assists me and, I, and vice versa. I assist her and doing things that she can't get done or the things that she can't get to at the moment. It just makes life a lot easier when you have something that you can work towards together. Now, this next one I think is really important, especially in today's climate. I don't have to worry or guess about what it is that I'm coming home to. I've seen some men that look better than some women. And that's scary because you don't even know what you're getting. You don't know what you're getting sexually. You don't know who has what I've read studies where they say one in four people has or has contracted a sexually transmitted disease at some point in their life that's scary the fact that I don't have to date and guess and figure people out yeah it could be exciting at some point but I do date I'll just date my wife I'm getting exactly what it is that you know I bargain for and then I said I do too at the at the altar and it alleviates a lot of the concerns that I think a lot of people have dating in today's climate last but certainly not least I can almost put this as my number one reason but like I said it's in no particular order I truly believe that my wife makes me a better person it's really great especially in hindsight because obviously they say hindsight is 2020 when you can look back on a situation and you realize that she saved you from something that you would have gotten yourself into had you not had her on your side. I'm gonna just be honest with you. I haven't had fast food in years. However, you know, sometimes you may drive by a Wendy's and think, man, that bacon double cheeseburger might be awesome. It was awesome the last time I remembered it. But then she's sitting right there on my side or even when she's not with me, I can hear her in my head saying, Anton, you know you shouldn't be doing that. That's not good for me. I know it's not good for me. But at the same time, we tend to do things and get courage to do things that we wouldn't normally do when we're by ourselves versus when we're with somebody that we have to be accountable to and vice versa. She may not feel like getting up and going to the gym, but I understand how important it is to her and how she may feel afterwards as a result of not going to the gym. So I push her. It's a give and take situation where we improve each other's lives and those are my 
five reasons why being married is awesome. If you have not checked out the new website, AntonDaniels.com, you really need to check it out. Like, it's a lot of awesome content. I got a lot of my friends contributing to it. And if you like this video and you like what it is that I had to say and it made a difference in your life or you think somebody else needs to see this video, you need to share it with them. Until next time, I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace. I think I knocked that one out.